Mabuhay Pilipinas and hello to the rest of the world. Welcome to your new companion in looking at the church, the world, and the society from the religious point of view. This is your Kahabit, Sister Happy Montesilio of the Daughters of St. Anne. Join us for a weekly dose of inspiration and information straight from the consecrated men and women of the Philippines. I'm your Kahabit, Father Angel Cortez of the Order of Friars Minor. This is all new. The, the Habits. habits. So where is the 8 p.m.? <laughs> Oo nga, sigurado marami magtataka. At sigurado, lulukohin na naman tayo. Pang ilang title na ba ito? <laughs> Pangalawa pa lang naman. <laughs> anyway, bakit nga ba tayo nagpalit ng title at nagpalit ng program? Of course, because we are... Ano nga yung napag-usapan natin? No, because we... The TV Maria also offered yes. that they will also... Um, air our program. Gusto lang po namin sabihin na hindi nyo lang kami makikita sa mga digital platform, kundi present na rin kami sa television. Yes, that's Kaya maraming right. maraming salamat mga kahabit sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta sa amin. At dahil dyan, meron kaming hinandang iba-ibang mga segment. Yes, there are segments. Actually, there is on the spot or outside feature. And then there is tambayan. This is a youth-oriented vocation segment. And of course, the TV Maria broadcast, which will be every Sunday at 9.30 p.m. At syempre, every Thursday, 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. Kaya abangan nyo po ang teaser ng bagong programang The Habits. At mapapanood nyo po, syempre, yung isa ring segment, yung tinatawag namin The Habits, Habits Spoken. Spoken. It's a faith life sharing. So, what do you expect from our new program, sister? I'm just like our viewers are becoming more and more wide, it's wider and this is actually helpful for all of us really consecrated persons because really we are talking about our life, our vocation and our mission and this it's always nice to share um, about ourselves, to share about, about what we are doing at the same time to inspire one another. And of course, to highlight the title of this program, mm -hmm. we are also catering the different habits mm -hmm. of dif the different congregations yes. that we are working with yes, in the right. AMRSP. Mm -hmm. So now? So now, to keep the ball rolling, as we usually do, we now move on to our first segment. Leading our stories today on the religious reports. Huni ng San Nilikha, the AMRSP together with Jesuit Communication Foundation and the Archdiocese of Manila will jointly co-host an online prayer concert on Sunday, October 11. Headlining the concert are performances from Noel Cabangon, Kim Nemenzo, and representatives from religious congregations. Catch the online concert in the AMRSP Facebook page and YouTube channel. General Assembly. The AMRSP successfully held its first General Assembly last September 30 and October 1st. Led by the co-chairs and 98 other major superiors, the Assembly featured talks from acting CBCP President Bishop Ambo David, Father Danny Pelario CM, and AMRSP board member Father Eli Ayuban, CMF. Online Transitus The Franciscan family celebration of the Transitus of St. Francis moved online. The broadcast, led by the Inter-Franciscan Ministers Conference in the Philippines, was streamed last October 3 and lasted for more than three hours. New Leadership the Franciscan Immaculate Sisters in the Philippines installed its new delegation government headed by Sister Imelda de la Cruz, SFI, as new delegate superior. The installation was presided over by Capuchin Franciscan's Provincial Minister, Father Eugenio Juanilo Lopez, OFM Cap, last October 4. And now, here's our reports for the Holy See and the Universal Church. Fratelli Tutti. 
The Pope has issued his new encyclical letter after celebrating Mass in the Basilica of St. Francis in Assisi last October 3. Deriving the title from the admonitions of St. Francis, the encyclical continues on the Pope's discourses on fraternity and social friendship. UN Assembly The Pope addressed the UN General Assembly in a pre-recorded statement broadcast last September 25. In the message, the Pope reminded of the need to reaffirm our collective commitment to multilateralism. Day of Prayer The Spanish Conference of Religious, or CONFER, held a day of prayer last September 29 to commemorate the consecrated persons who died due to COVID-19 in Spain. As of September 29, CONFER counted 391 deceased religious due to COVID, coming from 78 congregations. New Blesseds The Holy Father approved decrees proposed by the Congregation for the Causes of Saints, which included, among others, the approval of a miracle attributed to Italian laywoman Gaetana, Tolomeo, and the martyrdom of Francisco Castor Soho Lopez and companion priest from the Secular Institute of diocesan worker priests. Teki Saint. The tomb of Venerable Carlo Acutis was opened last October 1 in Assisi. The young computer Jeek Saint died in 2006 and will be beatified in ceremonies on October 10. And now here's our reports from the Philippine Church. New Nuncio. The Holy See has announced the appointment of American Archbishop Charles John Brown as the Pope's new nuncio to Manila, Archbishop Brown, currently apostolic nuncio to Albania, is an alumnus of the La Salle Brothers in New York. First Mass The CBCP formally adopted the results of the National Historical Commission's panel affirming Limasawa as the site of the First Mass. The resolution was adopted during the CBCP Permanent Council's meeting last September 25. That's it for our dose of stories from the church and the society. Join us in our next episode for more of The, the Religious, Religious Reports. Reports. Don't leave us just yet. Up next is our newest segment, Habit Spoken. Only here with your all-new information and inspiration companion, this is The, the Habits. Habits.